Can I have it? Can I have it? Can I have it? Can I have the ball? <laughs> Give me the ball. 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 Hey dudes, it's a new day. Uh, it's raining and sunny at the same time. We've come for a little walk. Oh, nice. Nice find, dude. Rain stopped a little bit, but I've been told that there is a hippie community around here somewhere, and I've never found it before, so I'm gonna have a little wander around and see if I can find it. I'm also looking for water-type Pokemon, but um, that's just something I'm doing on the side. Don't worry about it. Somebody's underwear. <laughs> I reached level 21 on Pokemon finally. Now it's now 75,000 XP just to level up. 75,000, that's insane. I posted a picture on Twitter of me getting a 34,000 XP stack. And the way I did that was by just getting all my evolves ready. So I had like 20 evolves ready to go. And then I dropped a, um, a lucky egg, which doubles the XP and then you can get. What the heck? You can just get loads of XP in one go. Uh, so I got like 35,000, uh, 34,000, and then before that I got 2,000, so it should have been 36,000, but I didn't get the picture correct. Um, anyway, yeah, 75,000 to rank up, like, I can't even, I don't even think I'm going to be able to do that, but I guess just over time, I'll get it done. Now that I'm like level 21, the hype has kind of gone, like, I'm not in an area where it's very popular, like, there's not that many Pokestops. Um, there's like four gyms in my city, or my town. The cities around me aren't very popular either, so like, I don't know where to go to find the good stuff. Yeah, so if you live in North Wales, please give me some suggestions of places I can go to train. Now I'm walking around the lake just to hatch some eggs. <laughs> All right, yeah, so I, right now I've got six incubation things doing their thing. They're all 5K eggs, so I don't know what they're gonna be. Um, I don't have any two or 10Ks left. I read on Reddit, this guy who'd managed to collect every Pokemon in North America. He has like 134 or something like that. That's insane. So now I'm guessing he's got to like fly out of the country and go to different continents to get the rest. I'm not quite sure how it works. Anyway, he's from New York, so I'm guessing there's like Pokestops everywhere, so it must be really easy for him. But yeah, he said that the trick is just to keep hatching eggs because you get the Pokemon that you can't find locally from the eggs. So there you go, there's a little tip for you Pokemon players. <laughs> Keaton's found some water to drink. <laughs> Danger high voltage electricity cables. All right, let's do it. Hello. Quite a bit lost, but we found these guys, so... Hello. <laughs> they have so much hair. <laughs> My dog's always afraid of horses because they're like 20 times bigger than him. And he knows he'll get squashed. <laughs> like an active train it went past and we had to hide it's like more it's not like from it doesn't matter <laughs> I tell you what I'm trying to say I hate recording this camera I know what I'm gonna say but then when I actually try and say it it just becomes out it just comes out like spaghetti it's just like blah, 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 blah. but you guys have put up <laughs> put up with it for years so I think you're okay with it now sometimes I talk like a spaghetti person It started raining again and I lost service, so I can't catch anything. <sighs> but I wanted to show you this anyway because it's, it's something local to me, but I don't think I've ever showed you before. This is a diving spot, so those boys over there, that they show like the diving spot. I've always wanted to jump off here, but I've never actually done it. 
Hey, look. There's my castle. Been up there in a few vlogs. You've probably seen it before. Looks kind of cool though, with all the, like the mist behind it. You know this mountain range right here. Me and my friend Christine were up there one night, and we saw a UFO flying around up here in the clouds. And we knew it wasn't a plane or like a satellite or anything because the way it moved was like kind of like this. And it wasn't a helicopter or anything like that. And the beam of light coming off of it was like a headlight, but it was the entire uh, entire way around it because an air an airplane or a helicopter won't go backwards with the headlights pointing that direction, like, or towards us, I mean. It was just, it's hard to explain, but it basically was covered in light, because we could see it, the way it was going, joop, 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 joop. It was really high up in the sky, it was there for a long time. And I was like, ah, sweet, an alien. And then Christine was getting freaked out, because she didn't believe in them. She was like, this is this can't be happening. So, uh, we went just waiting for the bus. And, uh, I just met a guy called George. He was really cool. We were talking about traveling and festivals and stuff. He went to Azora, and I was there last year as well. I'm sure I'm going to see him again. George, if you ever watch this, uh, we should hang out sometime when we're not both festivaling. Okay, I'm back home. My back still really hurts. I think I mentioned this yesterday, but my back still friggin' hurts. I don't know why. Um, I'm going to eat a salad. Because that's all I can eat now. And I'm watching uh, Ali A playing Pokemon. I enjoy watching people play it because they live in places where there's a lot of Pokemon, so it's kind of cool to watch. I think I'm gonna go raw vegan for a bit. Right, so I'm just editing the vlog. And I've been raw vegan for four days now, I think. Things are going good. And also that means I'm only four days behind on the vlogs. Not bad, I'm catching up. Hope you guys have been enjoying them. I'm gonna be going on lots of adventures in August, but for the next two weeks, I'm just gonna be working mainly. And um, I don't know what's gonna happen in between, but. Everybody here, there's a party. Thank you. <laughs> cereal! I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm eating cereal. Where? I am in a tree. I'm about to climb from this tree up to that one up there. This big guy here. And then um, I want to talk about some stuff. Look at this little guy <laughs> down there waiting for me. All right, so I'm at the second tree, but it's really sketchy. It's really sketchy to get on the actual branch because I thought the whole thing was flat, but like you had to climb up it again to get to the flat bit. <laughs> I want to do this. I really want to do this. If this doesn't work out, then I'm going to go to that tree over there. But if I can get up this, then I can get on the branch. Okay, so I'm on this part of the tree now. This is the branch that I want to sit on, but this part of the tree is all dead. Like it's got some things growing. Well, not dead. Okay, it's not dead. It's just hollow, which means there's not much to it. And I don't really want to put all my weight on it in case it does break and then um, the branch would crush my dog. So I don't wanna do that. So I'm, I'm gonna be smart and then go to that tree over there. And if you guys can see what I'm actually standing on, literally nothing right now. Like, uh, I'm pretty good at climbing trees. <laughs> right, so I just can't make up my mind. I'm in this new tree, but then I see like, you know, then I see like this branch over here, which looks better and there's better lighting. So now I've got to step across from here over there. Oh gosh. Oh, well, here goes nothing. Hey, I'm a, I'm up a tree doing all of this. I don't know why, but I just texted my um, my uncle. <laughs> um, how do I slouch properly? My back really hurts, and then I, I don't know what happened, but I accidentally said that, and it looks really wrong and really weird. And that's the first thing we've ever said to each other on Facebook. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, I really hope this works out. I'm up a tree because I thought it's the most suitable place to shoot this. This is my depression video. Trigger warning, I'm gonna talk about depression quite a lot. And if that triggers you, then don't watch this, please. I thought I'd climb a tree to film this video because I didn't want you to take it as seriously as if it was in a, in a, in like a house because it's not really a problem. It's just something I'm dealing with. It's kind of like a bad itch and I've been itching it for a few years, but it's back and it's pretty itchy. <laughs> oh yeah, check out my tattoos. I've decided to start shaving my arm right here just so the hair doesn't like make it look faded, but um, yeah, so and I've come up with a lot of ideas to fill in these gaps. I've got some drafted up, I'm just uh, need the money and then I'll figure it out. Yeah, I thought it just looked pretty cool, just wanted to show you. I have watched a lot of depression videos and they're all pretty sad. Like in the videos, they don't really explain that they're trying to get out of it, they kind of just tell you all about it and then yeah, you worry about them. So I just want everybody here to not worry about me because. I'm absolutely fine. I'm figuring it out the same way I always do. So I just need some time 
and then I'll be over it. So don't worry about me. I'm gonna get that out of the way. Hi, I'm Jason. I've had depression for like six years. Maybe six or seven years. Before that, I thought I was just sad. I didn't really know what depression was, so I can't count that. I started getting depressed as a kid and didn't know how to talk about it. And didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to deal with it on my own because I didn't want to get anybody involved in my brain. And so none of this is written down. Um, I don't usually script these videos. I'm just gonna speak it. I think it's back. I think it's back because of, or I know it's back because of these reasons, because I'm low on money. It's almost the month that I go traveling every year and I'm not ready for it. I'm stressed over work, I'm stressed over YouTube. I'm not really stressed over YouTube, I kinda am. No, I'm not, right, I'm not stressed about YouTube, I'm just stressed about it's taking all these other things that I'm doing, it's taking up all my time and I can't do just concentrate on YouTube. Because I'd, I'd like to go out on an adventure every day with some, somebody new every day, but I don't have that many friends around here so I have to make the money to go travel further abroad. Like that's why I do all of this. It's just back and it's just, yeah, it's just weird. It's just making me sad, which is making me not productive enough to just get over all of this. Right, so it's back. And that's why um, the videos weren't as consistent. Like I, I just, I was running out of energy in, in, throughout the day. So I just couldn't like get the videos out. So that's why I'm, I'm making a whole video about it, trying to explain this. <laughs> so many bugs keep landing on my legs. I'm getting kind of cold, but I don't know how easy it's gonna be to put a jumper on while I'm up a tree like this. All right, I'm just gonna do it. Okay, put my jumper back on, because it's kind of cold. I, I seriously think I've got ADD because I can't, I can't just concentrate on making something right now. Right, so, yeah, I took a couple days off um, just to deal with my depression, well, so I kick its butt. The things I usually go to, it takes me like a day or two to kind of realize I have it, and then I'm like, ah, oh, crap, and that makes me even sadder. By like day three, two or three, I'm like over being grumpy and I figure it out, I figure out how to fix it. Right, so the ways I fix it, I will spend as much time as I can speaking to good friends, friends that inspire me and friends that are like really active because they help me get back into being active and stuff. I, I, I did something a bit crazy this time to try and fix the depression. Uh, I thought I'd change up my entire diet again, like quicker than before. So I've gone down to vegetarian, then down to vegan, and now I'm down to raw vegan, and it's brutal. Like there's not much you can eat. You can eat seeds, berries, and that's about it. So I did that to try and like make my mind explode. Like I wanted to change up everything just just to make my body feel completely different because I thought I thought that would take me back to where my body should be. And it's worked, it's worked kinda. My, it's made my poo pretty funny. I've gone down like six pounds in a week. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was, I think it was a good move because now I'm like active. Uh, I walked 15 kilometers yesterday playing Pokemon. The other two days I did like 10 kilometers each day. I, that's not much, but it's kind of a lot of walking for a guy that makes videos. And it makes me come up to trees so I can film uh, sad videos. This one's not meant to be sad, right? If you if you clicked on this video because because you're also dealing with depression, like what you put out into the world is attracted right back to you. So if I'm making a sad video or a sad title and you clicked on it um, and you're sad too, then I attracted you. I want to say I'm not sad, depressed. I'm just depressed, and I'll get over it. If you are sad, depressed, if you're upset right now, you will get over it. You'll find a way. If I can give you any any advice, go out into nature, go vegan really consider it, just go to a plant-based diet. And that's what I did. It comes back, but you'll just, you'll get rid of it again. It's fine. Um, oh boy, I've rambled. I'm not trying to make this a long video or anything. That's why I'm trying to cut it short. Look, <laughs> both my legs. Can you see both my legs just like dangling over this branch? <laughs> this is the weirdest place I think I've ever filmed. Right, if you guys are like long time viewers of my View and I channel, you will have seen me film in some weird places such as the roof of our big house. I have filmed in a tree before. I filmed with my GoPro head mount like that. That was a weird one. I've done some weird stuff. This is like, yeah, back to that vibe. I feel like I wanna start being weird again. Oh, did you guys know that I actually hid a bunch of vegetables in different, um, View and I videos just in the back of my room. <laughs> like, I, I think one's got like a cucumber, but they're they're pretty obvious. Like I filmed everything on a GoPro back then, 
it's kind of wide, but if you look around, you'll find all the vegetables. It might be one of my videos. I want to go back to being weird like that. And I also want to do a part two to how to be a salad. Yep, there you go. Secrets out. I'm going to make a part two to how to be a salad. If you haven't seen the first one, go watch it. It's pretty weird. Right, to wrap up, I just wanted to say thank you to the comments on my past couple videos saying, Jason, you look sad because that's inspired me to make this. So uh, cheers for that. I'm not sad. I was, but I'm not anymore. I'm gonna be okay. If you guys think I should film in a tree more often, maybe when it's sunnier, give this video a like. If it gets like, if this video gets like 5,000 likes, I'll I'll film some more tree videos, dedicated tree videos. All right, cool deal. Let's see how many of you guys uh, want to see me in a tree again. I want to see myself in a tree again. <laughs> no, I'm gonna get down. I think my dog's bored. Look how trippy this tree looks. It looks like a face. Like, oh. oh yeah guys, whenever I have like my, my music playing in vlogs, I'm um, sorry that it's kind of loud, I listen to loud music, but if you want to find any of, this, any of these tunes, uh, just go to my SoundCloud, the link is in the description, uh, you can follow me on there, I just repost the stuff that I find that I like. Let's check out these mushrooms, I found them on the way up here. Look how big those things are. Or well, maybe they're not mushrooms, they're like fungi. They're so incredible. I love it when you guys tweet me pictures of mushrooms that you found. That's like the coolest thing. Oh yeah, and Anna keeps making me want to call you guys, like, make the fandom call them mushies. But I'm not, I'm not like a fandom kind of guy. You guys are just <sighs> other dudes that watch my videos. That's why I have been trying to make, like, call you guys the dudes. Because I'm like, you know, my dudes. I was trying to make that the thing, but she's like, nah, call them your mushies. Guys, I've been paying attention recently. I just noticed mushrooms everywhere. Look at the coolest mushrooms. Like, look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Dude. Charlie, you can go get vegan food. I want vegan food. Is it cooked? Is it boiled? What? Is it baked? It's cooked? No. There's raw vegan places in LA. Come back to me. <laughs> I'm still gonna go to Azora. Come to Azora. That'll be fun. To where? Azora Festival. It's in Hungary. It's it's August first to seventh. Come. I'll check my schedule. I haven't checked. Your my schedule's schedule. free. Come. You need to check it. Go check it. I'm filming oh, this, yeah. so it's going in the video, and you have to come. Ah. So I've been craving um, rice all day. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna decide to stop the complete raw vegan thing here. I'm only five days in, and I'm gonna add. I'm not gonna change it very much. I'm not going right back to vegan. I'm gonna all I'm gonna do is add rice and um, tortilla wraps, and that also means I can still get chipotle. <laughs> Fucking zoo back. I've got some of those. Yeah, I've got some of these. I really wish you could see this. Got a catch Watching these guys. Preferably back to the beach.